With Smart Deploy, you can easily migrate user data to a new device or restore data to the same device after re-imaging it. Let's walk through the process of capturing and restoring user data using the Smart Deploy console. On my workstation, I have a virtual machine that I'm using as a sample end-user device with files on the desktop and other personal folders that I want to capture. Smart Deploy will copy them and we'll see the migration file appear in the folder I have in the top right corner. I'll then be able to restore these files when I'm ready, so let's get started. I'll start in the computer management workspace of the Smart Deploy console. My target computer is here, so I'll click to select it and then click Capture User State on the Actions menu, which will start the User Data Migration Wizard. I'm going to be saving the migration file to a local network share, so I'll leave Local Network selected and click Next. Then I can make some adjustments as to what I want captured. User settings would include things like accessibility and mice and keyboard settings and folder options. Application settings will capture settings for certain applications, and for a list of these applications, you can search for What Does USMT Migrate to find Microsoft's documentation. Documents will migrate all of the files inside a users folder in the C colon backslash users directory. This includes the desktop downloads and documents and pictures and etc. USMT will also copy any folders on the root of C that aren't a part of a standard Windows installation. You can also limit the user state capture to user profiles that have been logged on recently. This is a particularly handy option if a machine is older and has changed hands a few times. You can reduce the size of the capture file by limiting this to only the current user by lowering this number to something like 7 days. Check free space is good for making sure that the capture doesn't suddenly run out of room. We'll know how much space is needed before the copy starts, so it's good to verify first. I want to bring everything over, so I'll leave all of these options as is and then make a slight adjustment to this network share. Then I'll need to provide the username and password for Smart Deploy to use to access my network share and then click Next. If I had the new computer lined up with the Smart Deploy client installed and present in the console, I would be able to restore the captured user data to the new device automatically. However, I want to step through both wizards for you, so I'll skip this portion and click Finish and then Confirm. We'll see the clock icon appear first as the console waits for the client's next check-in, where the client will receive the instructions to start the user state capture. The icon will change to the user icon to let us know that the capture has started. We're not moving a lot of data here, so we should see this complete pretty quickly. Once it's done, we can browse for the folder that's named after our source computer, check the log if we need more information, and check for our migration file. And now, we're ready to restore our user data. With a quick reset here, I have a new virtual machine to use as our target user device, where I will restore this user's data. To start, like before, I'll click to select the target computer in Computer Management and then click Deploy User State in the Actions menu. I'll first need to select the path to the migration file, which I can easily get from this Explorer window. Then I'll specify credentials for an account with access to my network share and then click Finish. Like before, the first thing we'll see is this clock icon as the console waits for the next client check-in. The icon changes to the user icon with an arrow indicating that the restore task has started. It won't take long for the user files to appear on our target machine in the same locations as the source machine. And that's how to capture and deploy the user state with Smart Deploy. To learn more about how this works, head to support.smartdeploy.com, or if you'd like to automate user data migration with deployment, check out our answer file video. And thanks for watching.